Destroyers are closing in on our U-boats. <laughs> yes, obviously, Freddy. Bada bada! Secret weapons. We can destroy the Allied fleet and save our U-boats from destruction. You know your orders. Those weapons are to destroy all Allied capitals. They're not to be wasted on a few insignificant ships. We may not get a chance to use them, if we are destroyed also. We shall not be destroyed. We shall use those weapons. If it takes a thousand years, we will use them. something out there. How do you read its location? Well, it's two miles ahead, sir. It's 10 degrees port and a depth of about uh, 380 feet. Well, what do the charts say? Nothing. At this location, the bottom's relatively smooth. Oh, that screen's acting up over something. You better take us down for a look. All right. 10 degrees down, bubble. Come to bearing 270. <laughs> It's big enough to be a sunken cruiser hidden under a mountain of moss. <sighs> but it's the wrong shape. Skipper, we're getting a strange sound on the magnification hydrophone. Give us more volume. It's coming from that mound. How could it? That thing looks like it dates from the year one. There's something or someone in there. Sounds like human heartbeats, doesn't it? Mines. Maneuvering. Reverse engines. All back full. All back full. Report. Damage control I. The main generators are out. We'll be on auxiliary lighting for approximately six hours. What is this? It must have been a mine. The mine detector alarm sounded just before the explosion. A mine in, in these waters? At this depth? I know it doesn't make much sense, Admiral. But neither does that mound out there. Sir, it's damaged. It'll take about an hour to repair. What do you think? Well, that seaweed-covered mound out there, you know we have to take a look. Things haven't been around since 
since World War II, sir. He hasn't been here that long. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, will you raise your hands, please? You are prisoners of the Third Reich. Heil Hitler. Any word from Leon Kowalski? Not a word, sir. Not since the end of that mound out there. Well, we should have had a report some time ago. Should I send out another diving team after him? No, that's too risky. Give them another five minutes. If you haven't heard from them, send out a detail in the flying sub. All right, sir. Well, I'm waiting for an answer. How did you get in here? Where do you come from? Well, just who are you? I was wondering the same thing about you. Uh, why the uh, costume? Where'd you get that phony swastika? That went out of style over 30 years ago. I wouldn't advise that. Unless you would rather die now than later. Now look, you may be enjoying this little masquerade, but we're not. Masquerade? One more insult like that, and you'll be shot where you stand. Come on. The information. Until I know who you are, I'm telling you nothing. Now, right now, I'd say... It's the gas. Take it over again. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Crane to see you. We need help over here. Do you read us? Over. Oh, what kind of help? What's your trouble? I'm not sure yet. All I know is we have two men here who are still fighting World War II. Send the diving bell down and we'll bring them aboard. Skipper. I'd say they're playing some kind of Halloween games, but, uh, but this stuff looks real to me. It is, Chief. It seems to be some kind of a weapons lab, though most of it's been out of date for over 30 years. And uh, what about those characters? Well, we'll find out more about them aboard Seaview. Meanwhile, let's get some samples of this equipment to show the Admiral. Aye, aye, sir. What do you think, Doc? Well, both of these men are obviously sleeping under the influence of some sort of drug. But uh, everything I've tried, so. So you are an American admiral. Is that right? That's right. Oh, that's very interesting. I must be on some sort of a vessel. This is Naval Sick Bay, isn't it? Correct. Now, don't you think it's about time that you identified yourself? Admiral Baron Gustav von Neuberg. Baron, my name's Nelson. Uh, this is Captain Crane. Nelson? I don't believe I've ever heard of you. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, where do you come from, and what were you doing in that weapons laboratory at the bottom of the sea? I believe you have me at a disadvantage, Admiral. I do not know where I am. I do not know who you are, and I shall withhold any information until my aid is awakened. Then we can consult. Uh -huh. Well, um, see what you can do for them, Doc, and uh, I'll talk to you later, Admiral, after I've had a chance to fully investigate your weapons lab. Please, be my guest. But I think you will require my help to do a thorough job. Well, if I do, I'm sure you'll be happy to cooperate. Of course, of course. Any time. Mm. Doc, I've had the master of arms uh, postcards outside sick bay. Let me know the condition of these men in 15 minutes. I'll be in the control room. Right. British Admiral Lee coming through, sir. Oh, thanks. All right, this is Nelson. Go ahead. 
In response to your request concerning Admiral Gustav von Newburg, we have the following information. During World War II, he was Germany's chief naval research scientist. Well, how old was he at that time? 49. Uh -huh. Is he still alive? Don't know, sir. Hasn't been heard from since 44. If he were alive now, though, he'd be well up in his 80s. All right, thanks for the report. Over and out. You don't really think this von Newberg is the same man, do you? Anything's possible, Lee. But he's not more than 49 now. Yeah, I know. Missile room, prepare the diving bell for return descent to that weapons lab. Aye, aye, sir. I want to find out if there might be any other secret weapons there, aside from the gas you brought aboard. I'd still like to know how this could be the same von Newberg 35 years later and not have aged one day. Well, it might be possible if, uh, if he were in a state of suspended animation. Oh, come on. Well, I only said it, uh, it, it might be possible. Now, look, Von Newberg, either you're deliberately lying yourself or you actually believe you're... Now, let's see if we can find some weapons to get us out of here. If we are prisoners aboard some kind of submarine. We are, Fergie, we are. And if that diagram is only half correct, the Allies have a weapon here that could destroy the Fatherland. And that's what we have to prevent. The Unterwasser Laboratory. If they go down there, learn what its secret really is. The Admiral is already on his way down there. But the only thing he will find is death. Look at that date, sir. 1944. That was during World War II. But that inscription is not the only thing that's been around here since then. You mean uh, those Nazis we found down here? Well, I, I'm not sure who they are. Well, maybe, maybe they're kidding about all this. Maybe there are a couple of um, skin divers who accidentally came across oh, this land. No, no, no. The only thing I am sure of is they were here for some purpose. We'd better find out what that, uh, what that purpose was. Hey, Chief. It's our crowbar there. Bring it over to me, will you? Aye, right, sir. The man who calls himself a captain had been posted. How many have there? Oh, I don't know. Two, three or more. What difference does it make? Whatever the odds, we shall take them. Are you ready? Calling Nelson. Save you to Nelson. Come in, please. Save you to Nelson. Can you hear me, Admiral? What's going on down there? Do you read me? No luck? No, I can't get a reply. Shall I send some drivers down? No, not yet. It might be booby trapped. 
Maybe we can get those phony Nazis to tell us. Control room to sick bay. Control room to sick bay. Come in, Doc. Over. <laughs> This is the captain. Do you hear me? Chip, take the gun. Keep trying to raise the admiral. I want to see what's wrong in the sick bay. Sea view to Nelson. Sea view to Nelson. Come in, please. Over. enough to put this craft out of action for months. Shall they do it? No. The high command may want the ship intact. Lock the door. Swellish. Look at those silos. They're much more advanced than I thought. Perhaps I could destroy them, Heather. No, 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 no hurry. We may want them for our own purpose when we take over this submarine. Ah, look! Come here. They didn't suspect what a favor they did us when they brought these aboard. Uh -huh. The escape hatch. Diving suits. All the diving gear, the tanks, the communication devices. Very good. Fröhlich, you stay here, hidden, while I go to the laboratory. Then we'll see who shall be destroyed. The Third Reich or the entire Allied homelands. With that plan of the Sea View, von Newberg could find his way anywhere around this ship. I'm sorry, Skipper. I had no idea they'd try anything like this. Well, that's not your fault, Doc. Chip. Von Newberg and Froelich have escaped from the sick bay. They're armed and dangerous. Now find them and put them in the brig. Aye, sir. How are they? Well, the anesthetic knocked them out, but they're okay. Right, good. Captain, this is Patterson. Could you come down to the missile room, sir? We've been under armed attack and we need medical help. I'll be right there. Come on, Doc. <laughs> There's equipment missing, Skipper. I'd swear to that. If they've left the ship, there's only one place they'd be hiding. The underwater lab? That's right. Chip? Aye, aye. Any word on von Newberg? I haven't spotted him yet, sir. Patrols are still out searching. Well, what about Admiral Nelson? Still no contact, sir. All right. I want five men for a boarding party detail. Von Newberg may have gone back to the underwater lab. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Get all the underwater gear ready, including mine. I'll be going along. I'll get whatever explosives we might need. Aye, right, sir. What shall we do now, I must get out of here. Got that sailor. Come and get it, fellas. Wait a minute. The gas, use it. Hit the deck! Come on, help me. I'm getting out of here. In the meantime, you go back to the armory. Lay 
some kind of a powder train of explosives to the control system of the submarine. Explode it and destroy it. This is the captain. All search details looking for the German prisoners lay aft immediately to Corridor B Armory Section. Corridor B Armory Section. We've got reason to believe that the men we're looking for have broken in there and attacked the Master at Arms. All right, you're the skipper. Let's go. That's what happened. Some kind of a knockout gas. Must be something pretty important behind that wall. But if we pick it like this. There is indeed, gentlemen. Oh, will you please unhook your belts and throw your pistols on the floor? Cup. Thank you. Behind that wall are all the weapons that are going to destroy your homeland. Oh, you, you gotta be joking. There's nothing down here in this, this history museum to hurt anybody. Right, sir? Well, I suppose we let the, the Baron answer that one, Chief. Of course. I'd be delighted. Loaded with a new kind of explosive, more powerful than ever before. They are aimed at Paris, London, Moscow, and Washington. I have returned to activate them. The action is irreversible. At exactly 1800 hours tonight, all your major capital cities will be totally destroyed. Heil Hitler! So, meine Herren, now you know the secrets of our Reichsdeutsches Unterwasserlaboratorium Nummer 1. All right, we've taken this prisoner, Baron. Now, how will you date that entry in your log? April 1, 1945. April 1st, 1945? You know, people can sometimes lose a day or two, but 35 years. April, I don't think your chief petty officer realizes the seriousness of the situation. I will have no more of his stupid jokes. Well, he's not joking, Baron. This happens to be October 3rd, the year is 1980, and the war you're talking about finished 35 years ago. <laughs> you insult my intelligence, Admiral. Are you saying that I, Admiral von Neuberg, am now 85 years old? Are you? Do I look it? I asked, are you? You are either a fool or a madman. 
We are still fighting the war. It is still the year 1945. And before the night is through, the Third Reich will indeed rule the world. <laughs> Morton, get your skin. All right, just nick my side. I'm all right. Oh, you'll be after we get you to sick bay. All right, now inform Mr. Morton. I will, sir, but first let me get you to sick bay. I tell you I'm all right. Now tell Mr. Morton. All right, sir. General quarters, general quarters. I want maneuvering controls, quarter D on full red alert security. Damage control. Break for possible explosion in hull sections 38 and 39. Secure all watertight hatches and passageways in that same area. Aye, sir. Where's the skipper now? I left him in the quarter, sir. But I hope he's made his way to the sick bay. Get on there with him and make sure he goes. Tell him from me that as acting commander of this vessel, that's an order. Aye, sir. This is Oberleutnant Freilich. After Führer's Erster Mecklenburger Schuhstaffel. I'm addressing myself to the commanding officer of this vessel. Will you please get on the communication system to speak to me? This is Commander Morton. Ah, you are the commanding officer? I'm senior in command at this moment, yes. What do you want, Frederick? A very simple thing, Commander. Unless I receive unconditional surrender of this vessel and all aboard her, I shall blow this submarine apart. You have ten minutes to give me your word. Unconditional surrender or death. Those cylinders contain a special kind of nerve gas we've developed, killing everything within a hundred mile radius. They are going to be launched together with the explosives. Uh, don't have to look at these things like he says, sir. I mean, uh, the way I see it, the two of us and one of him, and if we work it right, we... I wouldn't advise any kind of violence. Oh, he's right, Chief. The, uh, the gun gives the odds to him. Well, uh, odds or not, I'd still like to take a crack at it. I want those cylinders to be placed in the missiles before they fire. You will do as I tell you. You better do as he says, Chief. An infield hit can, uh, can get a run across, uh, but a strikeout doesn't help anybody. I guess you're right, sir. Admiral, that's a rather curious comment. Infield hit, strike out. What does that mean? Well, that's just uh, an American colloquialism, like uh, stitch in time. I don't know what you're talking about. We're not out of here yet. We're gonna disarm those missiles. They sure built themselves a pretty good hunk of intercontinental ballistic missile. Yeah, we I knew they were working on them, but didn't know they'd gotten this far. Well, let's see what we can do about pulling the teeth. Huh? I should. You should be in sick, Bailey. Now with the sea view about to be destroyed. You gonna blow the door in Russian? It's either that or unconditional surrender. And what about the gas or the ventilating ducts? Revitalization monitor shows he's closed off the ducts. He beat us to it on that count. This is Oberleutnant and Freilich. You have only 50 seconds remaining to make your decision. What is it going to be? We'll go ahead, lad. Prepare to ignite. Freudick, this is Commander Morton. We'll wait our full time before giving you a verbal decision. Ignite. <laughs> Your time is up. 
I am making the decision for you. I told you, at exactly 1800 hours, the Third Reich will take over the world. The hour of our glory has arrived. The missiles are ready for firing. didn't go, that backfired. Our missiles didn't fire. No, and this installation is filling with water. And we've got to get out. Get out? Why? It's all over. The war is lost. The war was lost 35 years ago. Now save your life, man. Let's get out of here. Get out of here, why? Nothing left for me here. Last hope for the Third Reich. Gone up in smoke. There's a new life, a new world waiting outside. Let's get back to the Sea View. Forget all this. Sea View? Get back to the Sea View? I am. Natürlich. I am. You're right. There's still hope. There's still another world outside. There's, there's not going to be anything left if, if you don't start moving. Yeah. Untie these ropes. Let's try to get back to Sea View. Yes, yes, of course. We shall yet escape the Sea View show. Save us all. Come on. Damage control parties lay down the corridor D on the double. Get in there and see what's happening to the men. If Frolic's still alive, get him. of the explosion was directed aft toward the diving control. Oh, what about Freilich? No sign of him in there. All right, take the sick bag. You all right, Kowalski? I'm all right, Skipper. It's that knots we have to worry about. Now, do you know what happened to him? Yes, sir. Just as we were going in, he was going out the air vent duct. The ducts in there lead to the missile room area and then back to the air revitalization system. Continue the search. I'm going to check on the Admiral. All right, sir. This is the exec. Continue all search parties. Stress missile room and air revitalization areas. The man we're after is armed and dangerous. Take him. Kill him if necessary. Come on, Kowalski. We're going to try the missile room. Right, sir. I have 
to have met it, sir. It's good to be back home again. Oh. I'd, I'd agree with you, Chief, except I didn't expect this particular welcoming committee. What? Gratulations, Monsieur Morale, it seems uh, all is not yet lost for us. Well, it's a temporary advantage. That remains to be seen. How is the situation, Frelich? I have damaged the maneuverability. Their missile system is ours to command. <laughs> well, Admiral, you must admit that uh, some advantages seem to be on our side, including the cylinder of nerve gas you were kind enough to bring back for analysis. Well, it's, uh, it's hardly enough to suit your purposes. I have only one goal. To destroy all Allied cities. I can accomplish this. Here and now. Take your diving suits off. There's work to do. Come on. Now, what do you have in mind? All great concepts are basically simple. I will use the Sea View missiles to blow up your cities. What's the latest damage control report? We're maneuverable here, sir, but barely. It'll be about 30 more minutes before we're fully prepared. Sea View to Admiral Nelson. Sea View to Nelson. Do you read me? Over. Sea View to Nelson. If you hear us, please come in. Yes, sir. Lay down the missile room on the double. I want diving gear for five men. I'm going down after him. Aye, sir. Exec to control room. There's an emergency in the missile room. Come in, please. Patterson. What's up, Chip? The missile room hatchway's jammed shut. Looks like Froehlich got in there through the air vent. Any communication with him? No, sir. Keep trying to get through. I'll get some cutting tools down to you. Aye, aye. Patterson, get explosives. Detonators and cutting torches down to the missile room on the double. Aye, sir. Missile room. This is Captain Crane. Are you down there, Froelich? Do you hear me, Froelich? I know you're there. If you hear me, just go over to a microphone and acknowledge. Froelich, this is the captain. Acknowledge. The poor captain seems somewhat disturbed. Too bad he doesn't realize just how disturbed he should be. You, you, you can't release that nerve gas in there. You'll kill everyone aboard. Hmm. Possibility has occurred to me. You see, with your men attempting to force their way in, I must render them harmless in order to have time to aim and activate the missiles. Freilich, go ahead. Will you wait? Yes, Admiral? You're going to kill us, too. The gas will recirculate and come back in here. Now, we've got to shut off these vents if there's any chance of us staying alive when the... Uh... Thank <laughs> you. 
Unknown. Launch, tracking, intercept. Repeat. Launch, tracking, interceptors. Intercepts on their way. Admiral? Do you read me? Admiral? Ready to fire, Mr. Martin. All right, stand back. Ready to fire. Let it go. He's alive. Get him sick bay on the double. And the chief, too. Move him out. Come on. Steps are moving in. Should make contact any second. Contact. received word from medical research in Washington, Admiral. They analyzed the beakers of gas in von Newberg's lab. Unstable pendulitic acid base can render humans unconscious, fresh air revive, in certain quantities and strengths possibly capable of inducing a state of suspended animation. Obviously, that's what must have happened to von Newberg and Freilich. For 35 years, they remained in a state of suspended animation, which was interrupted by my arrival. Mm. Must have been something like that. I... I wonder... Um, What's that? Well, I was just wondering if Van Newberg and Freilich were the only ones who inhaled that gas. Or maybe uh, there were some others... Uh... Waiting for a future time to strike at the world again? No. Yeah. Mm. Possibly. <laughs> I think it's time we stop fighting World War II. Now set a course for Santa Barbara. I right, sir. <laughs> 